Hello there, YouTubers. Guess where we are? Place I haven't been in a long time. I don't even remember how to how to do this stuff. What we're going to be tackling today is this thing here, which I need my head checked. Just totally checked. I think this is bigger than anything Mark saw. Nah, he saw bigger stuff than that. We're going to talk about Mark. Anyhow, this is um, this is the small end here. It's 25 by 30. The other end is 29 by 32. The heart is way off center. It didn't load the way I wanted to. It took me over an hour to get that thing loaded, even not halfway the way I, I wanted to. You guys that have these new mills like I do, and don't have that uh, fancy stuff that flips them. I, I don't know what that is. It, it makes these logs go around like that. Mark's got one of them things. Dag honest thing I ever saw. Uh, when you got a big gnarly log like this, it's kind of best to chain it and, or strap it down a little bit so it doesn't get away, it doesn't get away from you. Um, just kind of a recommendation. You can kind of do what you want. Once you knock a carriage off once or twice, you'll think it's a better idea. Believe me. Uh, I've crashed a few carriages on big logs. Um, anyhow, so we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit. Uh, for a minute only because I don't think I'm gonna get through all that in one day and I got oil here so I can't sit down I'm just a mess this I can't find my jack handle I'm, I'm just I'm just a mess today I guess well that's what coats are for guys and keep my coat from rusting now I gotta see if I'm even even gonna be in the picture anyhow we're gonna we're gonna give you a jabber about old Mark and his saw up there because poor Mark he has got it so hard boy that that thing is pointing over here. I gotta look at that thing. I've, I've said that before. Maybe it doesn't come out straight or something. Now that shows me right. Well, we'll come over a little bit. A bird just went by. We'll get it right there. Mark, you got to feel sorry for Mark. Okay. Now, if you guys don't know Mark, which I think everybody does, um, he's got to be the unhappiest Sawyer that ever was. I mean, just unhappy. Cause look at him right off the bat. Eddie probably locks him in that in that room. Okay, he's probably locked in that room because they know they don't want to let him out. They'll get into trouble. And he once he gets in that room, think about it. It's all he's got is that air conditioner in the summertime. He's got a heater in the wintertime. He's got a radio, and he's got a fan. Man, that's terrible. That that's Sawyer abuse. Look at me. I got the nice sunlight. He has to have lights. I got sunlight in my eyes. But nah, he's got to have artificial light. I got natural light. Then look at him. When he wants those logs to roll up, he's got to press a button or a hammer or push something. I just got to roll them. That's terrible. And then when he wants to turn a log, now watch this. He's got to use, he's only allowed to use one hand to turn a log. One hand. I can use both. You know, I can use both. And that's terrible. And then he puts them dogs up and down. You know, he can only use one finger per dog, per all dogs. I can use two hands on each dog. So he's got a, he's got it rough up there. So you all need to go up there and check how rough out he's how how rough out up there he's got it. Boy, that didn't come out right at all. <laughs> Anyhow. You know, if you got to know Mark and you got to go up and visit him if, if you're the first time here or new here. Um, he's a real good guy. There's another guy I've been watching lately. I might hammer on him a little more later too. I have to figure out something. Anyhow, there's another guy that I just ran into because I play through the stupid YouTube all the time and watch and watch and watch. And a guy came up from Steel Farm, I believe his name. I don't know what his name is, but I think that's his location. And he's got a new mill like I have without all that torture stuff. Okay. Um, and uh, I can relate to every time he fixes something, something else breaks. <laughs> and so I've been enjoying watching him putting this, this mill together and fix this and fix that, then fix this, then fix this, then go back and refix this and do that. So he'll, he'll get there. He's coming along. I really enjoy watching him because I can relate to it so well. So why don't you guys... Take a look, take a little time out and go over and Steel Farm. I think it's S T E E L E F A R M. Don't hold me to it. Nice guy, interesting, fun to watch. Um, and I've been getting a kick out of him trying to work on a mill. 
So we're going to try to gnaw on this, this here log, and I need my head check for bringing the biggest log I could find down here. Um, and it's, it's, it's going to be a screwy log. I got the sawdust drag going, which you saw in the last movie, which I'll probably put that one on before this one. I do not think I will get all the way through this one. Um, only because it's getting actually later in the day. Um, and it's going to take a lot of time to move it because it's a uh, real lopsided log. And I, I, it didn't load the way I wanted to do. I fought it for about an hour getting it on. So we're going to have to uh, flip you over the other side. Oh, there's another thing that I wanted to... Uh, oh, crap. I already lost it. Man, I lose stuff so fast. It had to fall on the floor here because I know I set it up here. Almost positive I set it up here. Of course. Man, it was it was an important part of this procedure. And I've already lost it. Man, what a mess I am. Let me get down. I'm looking around for it. I'm over here. I guess you'll see me down here on my knees. I'm pretty sure I set it up on this log. A little breeze must have come by to throw it, throw it off the spot. I don't see it there. I hope I don't hurt that. It's a little sign. And it's a great sign. But it's a, dis, it's a disappearing sign. Ah, darn it. Ah, I might need this here anyway. So we'll put that over there. Well, I don't see it on the ground out there. There it is, way back over there. I'm going for it, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Oh my gosh, that was a heavy jump. Heavy jump. Now we'll come back up. Far side, run across the uh, log deck. Okay, I found it. Here you go. If you're new here, okay. Now you're going to see me, if you're new here, I'm going to be jumping over that rolling thing right there, okay? If you see the movie, and the movie even comes up, then I didn't get caught in it. So, uh, kind of leave it alone. I know, what, I know all the things I'm doing wrong, okay? So, just put up with what I do wrong. We're going to put you over here. I hope the sun isn't in the... In the uh, Thing. I hope to get one or two cuts off, then I'm going to have to move it. We're going to move you right about here. Uh, I think that might get, get you there just enough to annoy you. Okay, you guys notice this thing. This thing's kind of noisy.
right, guys, did you see that? It rolled, it let loose in the back, even though I had it down as about as much as I could. It's a very uneven log, which is kind of what I pointed out at the beginning. What I think I'm gonna do is lay it down on that flat. Now that could either go easy or not so easy. And this log hasn't really been very cooperative, so the, the best thing I can think is take it all the way around. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna leave you here, but I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see what I'm, I'm doing. Uh, I got a railroad jack over there is what I'm doing. Uh, that might be too big. Let's get it back a little bit. That could be good. I'll tell you what. Let's do, let's put you up on the, all the way up here. Then you can kind of look down upon me. You can watch the crash. This is where it kind of gets a little touchy. Not putting you up here, but um, you're going to kind of watch what I'm doing. You're just barely on this sawmill husk. But I think you, I think you can see it there. I'm hoping. I probably should have pushed the. Uh, I wasn't thinking. I should have uh, moved the carriage back. The log is loose right now. Uh, but you don't want that to happen while you're while you're sawing. And that's another thing. Mark's got unhappy logs. Okay, this log right now is happy where it's at, even with those chocks out of there. If you take these chocks out of there, see it. it it would saw here and it sawed comfortable that's why I got these this cut off of here but now it wants to go where it wants to go and Mark's logs he puts them where he wants them to go think about it he puts those logs exactly where he wants them to go that's not a happy log I don't have a master dog so if you don't have a master dog you got to have a happy log is that crazy enough for you guys let's see if we can push this <laughs> that's one thing about a little carriage most of the time you can I should have rolled it down there. I wasn't, wasn't thinking. I do that. I think I'm going to leave it right there. Then if it crashes, I think I'm going to leave it there because I'm having problems with my jack. So we'll bring this out. We'll bring this out. Let me think. Yeah, I might be able to turn it there. I'm going to show you the... I don't know what that up. I gotta move the uh, move these back so the log can roll. We're gonna see uh, another thing. I gotta check if I get it down on this flat. Um, let's see. Woo! We're still not to the magic number up here. Let's see. <laughs> I'm only gonna get a few cuts off of it. My next magic number up here is 21. So even if I get it down to here. That's 21. I'm only going to be able to get get to about here. We'll put a mark there. Maybe it'll, it'll show up. See, Mark doesn't get any of this exercise. I don't know where that was. It was about there. That's about where I got to saw it. Mark doesn't get any of this exercise. He just got to sit in that booth and do what do what he's told to do. And Eddie's down there telling him, do this, do that, do this, do that. I don't have anybody telling me what to do. Well, until you guys get a hold of me. Just remember, I know just about, I know all the dangers of this sawmill, except for the one that gets me. How's that? And this one might get me. I know I don't like this normally back here, but I can't find my jack handle. But this ought to turn the log. I'll show you how old timers turn big logs. Uh-oh, here it is. I might even be able to put that in there. Nope. Took care of that. Took care of that problem, didn't it? I know I got another one in here. I have a soap ply of those, but I don't see that soap ply right now. Ah, we'll just do it this way. It will. It's going to take up the rest of your viewing time watching me jack a log around. But that's how I do it. When you're a one-man band, you got to kind of toot your own horn. But Mark doesn't get any of this exercise. Poor boy. Lock him in that goofy little room. 
Oh, you know what I should do though? I might hate life if I don't strap this thing down again. Every now and then I get jabbering and uh, lose track of what I'm doing. You don't know exactly where this log is going to want to do. And I really don't feel like picking this carriage up off the ground tonight. I've done that. This didn't go on real well either. I don't think it's tightening. Eh, it's pretty tight. All right, back to the back to the show. Oops, we're out of, out of it. Got to put that in there. Got to put this in here. Then you got to do the quick down jack thing. Comes back down. Then you get go right out. This time I can use that six by six thing. But this is how we do it here. Now, um, that's, that might slip out there. It's kind of wet. Um, over at um, Steel Farm Sawmill, he made a log turn that was pretty impressive. I was impressed, and we need to go over and take a look at that. Uh oh, I'm digging in hard now. I'm out of out of dig. Turn this around where it's not so looking slippery like. 